we decided we were going to have some sort of a quirky look at how athletes behave when they're not doing what we see them doing day in day out on our TV screens. What we decided to do was pick three pub games and get a different person in every week to do it. Our first guest is Gavin Noble, Irish Olympic triathlete. Gavin, welcome to the program. No, thanks for having me. We decided in your honour we were going to call this part of the show Tavern Triathlon. Thank you very much. I feel honoured. Do you know what you have in store for you today? I'm expecting swimming, cycling, and a little bit of running. It's completely different. Well, first of all, it's a little bit of a challenge for yourself. The London Olympics is the pinnacle of my sport, so it's obviously um, a great experience, and not only for me, but for family, friends, um, also, I guess, for the development of traveling in Ireland, to get to have two, two athletes there for the first time. Um, so yeah, overall, for me, it was a positive experience, and um, something I look, I look back on with fond memories, and I also look to the future um, to improve, and uh, hopefully, uh, four years time Rio um, and also with it. You led the race at one stage in 2012. Leading the race at, at parts of the parts of a, a traffic is nothing um, I wouldn't say is new. Um, at the end of the day you're racing the same 50 guys week in week out just happens to be in the Olympics and there's a lot more people uh, watching but you know that was just part of my it wasn't that I um, don't do that normally or it's it's just part of the development of the race I, my, my running um, was hampered all year by an injury and um, so I needed the strong swim bike and that was my game plan um, I knew I wasn't going to run uh, much faster than, than 32 minutes had it been a slower fast bike so I needed to keep the pace on and, and that's why you saw me in the front I had to go to the front to, to make sure that I was um, racing only 23 24 boys at the end of the bike stage rather than the 55 guys who started so that was my, my tactic and, um, yeah, look, I, I, I led for a small portion and it was good that people remember that, I guess, and then people look back on it when they get in something to shout about. So, yeah, it was a positive experience for me. When you come back from that injury and recover and look towards Rio, can we look at the same kind of strength on a swim with a bike and maybe with a quicker run? Are we looking at maybe a, a top 10 finish or is that asking too much? Yeah, sure, my swimming bike has always been my, my strength. Um, like I hadn't run since probably since February, so if I if I look back on it, you might think of what what might have been like a six months off running, um, gonna hamper you. And of course it is. I I was able to run short fast sets with um, some taping and some some painkillers, but I wasn't able to do just the, just the general grind and the miles. And that's what you miss when you come off the bike after an hour and twenty minutes. You miss those long winter miles and those long miles. So. Look, it's always it's always a case of what what should have could have would have, so I don't like to look at it that way. And obviously, I look to improve my run just over the next four years, as I've been looking to improve my run every year. Well, obviously, we're well used to taking part in three different disciplines on one day, which leads us perfectly to what you're here today to do. You're going to be playing darts, pool, and answering a few sports questions. How are you going to think you're going to fare out? Not very confident. Why not? Surely you're used um, to this kind of change in the pace of competition. Normally, now if I go to a public house and um, there's maybe a little bit of drink involved I'm not very good at the drink so I wouldn't be um, that would bring my confidence up because there's obviously no drinking involved today because I'm an You're athlete training. yeah obviously um, yeah no I'm looking forward to it um, I can't say that I'm going to be good at any one any three of the events but who, who, who wants to play with someone who's good at darts or good at pool okay, well, I, I would go for the sympathy for myself if I'm out uh, and I doubt uh, doing any one of these okay things. well let's see how you get on I think it's a slant, a slant in this table. <laughs> Put 
Electricity League Club was Roy Keane's first senior club? Cork. Cove Ramblers. They're from Cork. It's not, it's not Cork City though. Which two boxers yeah. fought in the Rumble in the Jungle? Uh, Muhammad Ali, George Foreman. Correct. Name three Irish snooker world champions. Ken Doherty, Dennis Taylor. Three? Ken Doherty. <laughs> no, Alex Higgins is the third option. I've been in the home grounds for the four Irish provinces. And the show grounds in Galway? No. East. <laughs> what? The sports grounds in Galway. Oh, no. <laughs> Twice. Uh, oh, yeah, I know this. I know where they all are. I know where they all are. I know how to get to them. I don't need answers. There's one in Dublin. Correct. One in Limerick. Correct. What's the one in Belfast? Yep, I need names. Alright, uh, this is really far. Oh no. I'm gonna need to catch you. Uh, okay. I'm not. <laughs> Okay, the time of uh, Ravenhill, oh, no. Toman Park, and I would have taken the RDS for Leinster. Question five: uh, Name the last five UEFA Champions League winners. Individual clubs. So I say yes. 2012. Barcelona. 2011. Inter Milan. 2010. Barcelona? No, it's the last five clubs. So Barcelona did win it in 2009. Oh, right, okay. For the last five clubs to win it. Real Madrid? Nope. One more answer. Real Madrid last won it in 2002. Manchester? Correct. 2008. The other uh, answer was AC Milan who won it in 2007. So Gavin, 273 total, happy with that? Happy because um, obviously the swim on the bike is still to come. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. No, 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 no we're done. That was the three events over. Ah, right. Yeah. I received myself oh, okay. for the last two events. Uh, rookie rookie mistake. Can we do rookie it mistake. We can, you can come back again and do it some other night. That's 11th of March and then. Love a good back episode. Fantastic. This one will be talking to you again soon. Thank you very much.